I'm finally, finally <laughs> doing the A part of the Q&A that I announced like a week ago, a little over a week ago. I tried really, really hard to get that video out before Christmas, but it just didn't happen. But I'm doing it now. <laughs> Hopefully that's okay. Before we get started really quick, I am just going to let you guys know what I'm wearing on my lips because if you haven't noticed, I'm wearing green lipstick and I know I'm going to get questions about it, <laughs> so I'm just going to let you know. Do you guys, like, do you see... I love doing weird lip colors, weird things. I'm just a weird person. This is the NYX Whip Wicked Lipstick, and this is in the shade Risqué. I just got it last night, and I love it so much. It's like a metallic-y green. It's really flattering, and honestly doesn't even look that weird. It honestly, to me at least, it looks wearable. I would totally go out to public like this. And I did get a couple more. I just want to show you guys really quick, because they're really fun. This, look at this one, this really like pretty like turquoisey one and this is called Scandalous. I can't wait to try that one. And then I got this really pretty like bluish, a little bit tealish color and this is called Sinful. I am so excited. I'm so excited. Check these out. These are at Ulta right now. At least I just, I just now found them at my Ulta, but mm. okay, let's get started finally. So this is just going to be a really casual video. I'm wearing sweatpants because that's how I roll. Um, I'm going to start with Instagram because that's just what I'm going to start with. So I posted this little Q&A picture, whatever, on Instagram and told you guys to ask me questions. So let's go through the questions you asked me on Instagram. Okay, Liza Boo 39 I hope that's right, <laughs> asked, um, if you had to choose only one nail polish brand to use, which would you use and why? I think I would go with China Glaze. Um, I think I finally d decided... <laughs> I mean, at the moment, at least, that China Glaze is my favorite brand. I just really like the colors that they come up with. They're so adventurous, and most of the formulas are really, really good for me, and yeah, I just think that they're really fun. I feel like I could survive off of my China Glaze collection alone forever if I had to. So, China Glaze. <laughs> okay, Lauren underscore Petronio, I think. Um, would you ever... By, or try, sorry, would you ever try a uh, Christian Louis Vuitton nail polish? I would love to try one. <laughs> There's no way I would ever buy one for myself unless for some reason I found it for like crazy on sale or something. I would never buy it for myself just because I can't justify it, it's too expensive. But if somebody ever got me one for like a gift or something, I would die. I, I would love to try that. Okay, TC Pekis. Um, 1981. I can't. <laughs> Sorry, these usernames are a little bit difficult for me. Um, what what's nail polish was the best to go on, and the color was gorgeous. Hardest to put on, but the color was worth it. And which was not only the. Or, hold on. I need to get my mind straight before I read this. Okay, so I think I got it now. Sorry, my reading skills are not the best right now. So which she's asking? I think which what's the best color? and it's easy to put on, what's the hardest color to put on, but the color's worth it, and then what is the hardest color to put on, and the color's not worth it, the hardest polish to put on, the color's not worth it. That's a really, really hard question, because I have so many polishes. Um, I love China Glaze Fairy Dust, and I feel like, especially, I mean, when it gets a little older, it gets kind of gloopy, and so you have to thin it out a little bit, but I feel like you get such a good brush load of glitter um, on that first stroke. And I just love China Glaze Fairy Dust, period, period. Like, probably my favorite polish of all time. I just love that. So that might be for that first one. Because the color is amazing, or the glitter or whatever is amazing. And it applies really nicely. What's hardest to put on but the color was worth it? Oh my god. I don't know. To be honest, formula usually, I'm gonna say usually because sometimes it really does bother me, but usually it doesn't bother me enough to stop me from wearing a color because I just love all my colors. <laughs> so I don't know if I can answer that one just because usually formula doesn't deter me ever from wearing a color. Um, and then I think that, it, I'm sorry, <laughs> I think this is Teresa, right? I'm sorry Teresa, I really don't know how to answer this one just because I don't know. <laughs> I don't, formula is a tough one for me because it doesn't bother me enough. I, I don't, th things don't stick in my brain as like that has a horrible formula just because I just use them anyways. 
I don't know, I hope that sort of answered your question. Sorry. And Phoebe Moon 14 asked, why are you so amazing? You better, you better pick my question. And also, what's your current favorite base coat? Well, Phoebe, you are so sweet. In case you guys didn't know, Phoebe Moon here on YouTube, she's amazing. I will link her channel down below. And actually, Phoebe, you're way more amazing than I am, so... Yeah, how about that? There's an answer to your question. Um, <laughs> and um, what's my current favorite base coat? I have really weak nails, so I tend to use the um, Nail Teaks Formula 2 or 2 Plus base coat, which isn't the best base coat for keeping your nail polish on because, honestly, it can kind of, like, your nail polish can peel after a while. There's Miles. You want to say hi to the peoples? He's getting so big now. Okay, you want to go play. Um... It's not the best nail polish for, or best base coat for holding polish to your nails. Um, but since I have problem nails, weak nails, it's really nice for my nails. But I have been trying, when I do want to keep a polish on longer, I have been really liking Orly's Bonder base coat. Alright, so that was all the questions from Instagram, and I'm going to check Facebook. I don't think anybody asked me anything on Facebook, but I'm going to double check. Alright, I have to switch to my laptop because my phone was about to die. Okay, so nobody asked me anything on um, Facebook. So I'm just going to switch over to the comments in the Q&A video thingy jiggy that I did. Okay, so I have 23 comments on this video, so I'm going to try really, really hard to get through all of these and be as quick as I possibly can, hopefully. Okay, so Monica Loves Nail Polish asked, um, how do I keep track of all your, or how do you keep track of all your nail polish? How do you make sure to use them all? And do you have every single nail polish swatched? And if so, do you use wheels or swatch sticks? Okay, how do I keep track of all my nail polish? I, <laughs> I have recently, okay, a long time ago, like a year and a half ago, everything was swatched, everything was cataloged in a spreadsheet, everything was perfect. And then I just went, I just got a little too crazy and my nail polish collection got too big and I got a little overwhelmed and so I pretty much abandoned that system, which really sucks because now I really wish that I would have kept up with it um, because now everything is kind of a big crazy mess again. How do I keep track of it? I just try to keep it all in the same place so that I don't lose any. Um, the racks really help with that, having everything out where I can see it. I do have a lot in the drawers, but having as much as I possibly, oops. Miles is dropping things. Having as much as I possibly can on the racks really does help me. Um, how do I make sure that I use them all? I don't, I haven't used all of my nail polish yet. I have a lot of untrieds, which kind of sucks, but I'm trying to get through them all. Um, really, when I just sit, when I sit down to put a, put on a color on, I mean, it's, I guess it's rare these days where I just put one nail polish on. I usually do some sort of nail art or something, but um, I don't know. I do pick a lot. There's a lot of this. I, this all needs to get hauled, by the way. But I have this little, like, rack thingy majiggy right here. And, uh, if I want to try something new that I know for sure I haven't tried or something like that, I do reach for something there. I, I don't know. How do I keep track of my nail polish? I'm not doing so good right now. <laughs> it's my is my answer to that question. Um, I am using swatch sticks. I have like probably a third of my collection swatched on swatch sticks right now. And I'm in the process, I'm trying to do like 10 a day at least until I get everything swatched. And then, and I'm also trying to do all my new stuff. So if it's new, it gets swatched right away. Um, and I do have everything cataloged again in a spreadsheet. That is a really long answer. I'm sorry. <laughs> I am currently in the process of trying to get organized again because things got overwhelmed. So I like swatch sticks better than swatch wheels because I can organize them nicer and I can move them around and I use binder clips, by the way, like or binder rings to organize them. And I have a spreadsheet and yeah. Other than that, I mean, I've had people say, have you ever bought the same nail polish twice? And actually, no. And maybe that's just because I have kind of like a photographic memory. So if I see a polish that I like, I, I've never bought two of the same polish before. So if I see one that I like, I, I'm like, oh, I already have that. You know what I mean? So I don't know if that answers your question at all. And I'm sorry that was so long and rambly. This is going to be a long video, guys, because I'm just chatting because I talk a lot. That's what we do here. Okay, 
um, Kelly Gonzalez. I'm pretty sure that's Kelly Gonzo, right? Kelly, I love you, girl. I love you. Um, <laughs> she asks, what's something people might... <laughs> what's something people might not guess about you? That's tough. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like... At least I try to be in my personal life and um, here on YouTube. I try to be as transparent as possible. I don't hide things from people. I used to, like in high school, I had like not a really bad lying problem or anything. But you know how you're, you're a teenager and you, especially like with your parents or something, you get caught up in a lie. I just hate that feeling of like trying to remember the, the, the lie, if that makes any sense. So I like never lie anymore. I lay everything out on the table for people. I am who I am. And I'm, I don't know, I just, this is me. <laughs> Take it or leave it. That's kind of, I don't know. So maybe people might not guess that about me or I'm transparent and there's nothing that people wouldn't guess about me. I like never wear makeup. Is that something? I like never wear <laughs> makeup. <laughs> Except for when I'm filming videos. And when I do film videos, I like to go a little crazy and put on green lipstick. I don't know if that answers your question. I wish that I had a better answer for you, but it just seems so broad. I don't know. Okay, she also asked, what is your biggest ambition when it comes to nails and your channel? Well, when it comes to nails, I would absolutely love to get to the point <laughs> where I don't get anything on my cuticles when I paint my nails. I'm getting close, but I still get kind of shaky on my non- dominant hand or whatever and things get on my cuticles and then I have to clean them up. That's a big, like that's a goal that I have. That's not, I guess that's not a really big ambition, but I would love to be able to do that one day. Maybe if I can. And then as far as my channel goes, I would just love to be able to post regularly, like to be able to figure out, like to manage my time well enough to where I could put all the effort that I want to put into my channel to be able to do all of that. There's so many things that I would love to do in terms of like editing and lighting and reviews and tutorials. I have like five trillion ideas. The creative part I've got down. It's the being able to actually have time to do all of the things that I wanna do. That's what I have um, trouble with. So figuring out how to do all of the ambitious things that I have planned for my channel, all the videos that I wanna do, being able to actually do that is probably like my biggest ambition because it's not like subscriber count or I don't know how fancy my videos are or anything. I just have so many ideas and so many things that I want to share with you guys that like end up getting <laughs> I'll put on the back burner because I just have to like I just have to put up the, the highest priority videos sometimes and I, I hate that. I just want to I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if that makes sense but I just want to be able to actually do everything that I want to do, if that answers your question. And then the last thing she asked is, what is something you want to improve upon with your nails and your channel? Oh, I guess that's kind of the same thing. I, I would love to have minimum three videos a week. And I would love to improve my lighting in my videos so that I can film at nighttime because that seems to be more convenient time for me. But the way that this room is set up and the lighting that I have right now, it's impossible. It's like 1.30 right now and I am like pushing the, the limit. Like if I wait any longer, if this video is too long, the sun is going to be in a we really weird place. So lighting, being able to film at night and putting up like minimum three videos a week would be like goals that I have right now. I really want to improve on those things and editing too if I can, but editing is hard. <sighs> okay, I'm sorry, I'm rambling. I know, I know, I know. Okay, so Phoebe Moon asked um, another question on here and she said, what's your favorite thing to do to relax or for downtime? And then X X O X O love you. Love you too, girl. You awesome. Um, <laughs> my probably, my favorite thing to do to completely like relax is take a bath. I love my bath time. Like that's just, that's just my time. When I, we're, me and Michael are kind of sort of looking at buying a house right now. And like the number one thing is like if the bathroom doesn't already have like a giant bathtub, I need to make sure that we get a house that has a bathroom that we can put a giant bathtub in. Like one of those big... Like, not, a, not necessarily a jacuzzi tub, although that would be kind of cool too, but one that I could, like, 
like stretch out in like I'm kind of tall and like I don't really fit in my bathtub right now and it's really depressing but I still take baths like four times a week anyways because that's just my, my downtime. And I also do like to um, paint my nails but that can kind of get stressful sometimes because you know when you have an idea in your head and then you go to do it and then it doesn't work out and then you get really frustrated? That happens a lot when I do my nails. So I would say bath time. Bath time and then sometimes I'll like um, set up my laptop on like the toilet or the counter or something so that I can be watching YouTube while I'm taking a bath. I love that. <laughs> okay, the Fashion Rocks, I think is how you say that. She said, um, I love your channel. So much positivity and just plain fun. Oh, thank you. Um... She said, this is a nail polish question. What do you suggest to get rid of nail dents or ridges permanently for from the nail plate? And also, do you use a nail strengthener to prevent chip nail chips? <laughs> Why can't I speak today? To prevent chipped nails? If so, what are the best ones? Okay, I don't have very big problems with ridges on my nails. I only have one nail that really has any ridges. Um, and the only thing that I can say is I don't think that you can permanently, I mean, I'm not like a doctor or anything, but I'm pretty sure that you can't permanently get rid of nail ridges. If you buff your nails, you can kind of like smooth them down a little bit, but I would be careful with that just because, I mean, you're taking off layers of your nails. So if you do that too often, it's really not healthy for your nails. You're thinning them out. So just be careful. Um, if you have really big problems with ridges and you really hate it, um, I, maybe just try painting on more layers of nail polish, like getting your layers a little bit thicker so that it kind of smooths out and you can't see the ridges anymore. Um, I hope that is helpful because, yeah, I'm pretty sure you can't permanently get rid of them. But yeah, you can buff them, I would say occasionally because too much is bad. Put on thick layers of nail polish so you can't really see the ridges. Um, um, oh, there's ridge filling base coats also. I can't believe I didn't think of that one first. Ridge filling base coats are really, really good. There's a pretty good one by Sejvit and then another really good one by Nail Tech. Um, so check those out if you do have ridges in your nails. Um, and as far as nail strengthener base coats, I really like the Nail Teaks Formula 2 or Formula 2 Plus. That's my favorite because I have really, I mean, they're better now because I'm using a base coat and I'm keeping them healthier. But that one's my favorite for strengthening. And I've also tried the Nail Tech Formula 2, I think, or something. It's different. Nail, Teak, Nail Teaks and Nail Tech are completely different. But the Nail Tech one is just okay. It didn't work for me. But I mean, read the labels because it depends on what kind of problem nails you have. Um, mine were really like thin and bendy and so they did bend and sometimes break but if you have like dry and brittle nails there's a different treatment for that one so I hope that answers your question sorry but thank you so much for your question and hopefully that was helpful in some way all right so the next question is from Shan Muss I think is how you say it um, and it said will you be posting any videos that highlight your top 10 polishes from the mainstream brands okay Yes, in a way, it won't all be in like one video because like, okay, actually, no, do you, do you mean, okay, if you mean like your top 10 China Glazes, your top 10 OPIs, th those kinds of things, then yes, I already have done a few of those. I've done my top five Zoyas, I think, I think, I think that may be the only one I've done so far, but I really want to do those kinds of videos. I'm not sure how many will be in there, if they'll be exactly 10 or 5 or whatever it will be, but I definitely want to get on those. I just want to make sure that I swatch everything and get all that organized so that I can make sure that I'm giving you the best answer. <laughs> so I will be doing those, um, And but if you mean like my top 10 overall polishes from all those brands, I mean, I do nail polish favorites. I try to do nail polish favorites really often, so yeah, if that makes any sense, it might be mixed into a few different videos, if that's your question. But otherwise, I'm going to be doing my top 10 or 5 or whatever, I don't know how many it's going to be, I'm going to have to go through my collection to figure it out, but yeah, I'll be doing like the top 10 China Glazes and OPIs, and I've already done Zoya, and maybe I already did OPI, I feel like I've done OPI already. 
I don't know, but I will be doing more of those. All right, the next question comes from Jacqueline Landway, I think is how you say that, and she said, what's your number one tip for beginners? Okay, I can't pick just one, I think. I thought about it for a little bit, and I don't think that I can pick just one, so I'm gonna do like a few mini tips. Um, first one, base coat and top coat are way more important than you think. <laughs> Definitely always use a base coat and a top coat. Um, the other one is, if you get frustrated, like I, I tried painting my nails a lot when I was a teenager and I just couldn't, I just got so frustrated with it because it would get so messy and all over the place and I couldn't do it perfectly. Even still, I have a really hard time, <laughs> hard time not getting polish on my cuticles and stuff. So use a clean, like use acetone and a cleanup brush or a q-tip or something and that will like save your life, I swear to God. <laughs> That's just, it just makes everything look so much cleaner and I think you'll enjoy painting your nails. You can get a little bit messy because you can clean up really fast. So that's another one that like, at least for me when I was a beginner, I wish somebody would have said, you know, you can clean up the edges so that you're not frustrated, if that makes sense. And then the last one is have fun. Don't do what anybody else tells you to do. Don't wear the polishes that are trendy or that you think you're supposed to wear. If you want to wear an, like a neon in the middle of December, wear a neon in the middle of December. Do what makes you happy and have fun and don't listen to what other people say you're supposed to do. Just do what you want to do. So that's my little tips. <laughs> okay, so the next couple questions are from Quiet Tornado 1970. She said, I'm not a subscriber, but I always remember to come back and watch your videos. Well, thank you. Um, just, I don't know why you're not subscribed if there's a reason, but you know, just so you know, it's, it's free and it's a lot easier than trying to remember to come back. Um, just as a tip, if you were wondering. Um, and she said, what is your second most favorite things? I'm not exactly sure what that question is asking me, but if, if she means like, what do I love second to nail polish? I mean, nail polish isn't like my most favorite thing in the entire world. That'd be like family and like my pets and things like that. But um, as far as like hobbies go, maybe if that's what you mean. Um, You know, actually, maybe not hobby, okay? If you had to pick material thing that is my second favorite to nail polish, it might be Bath & Body Works candles right now. Just right now. That's just a current favorite. I don't know if that's why you're asking, but that's, that's, I don't know, that's the only thing I can think of right now. And then she said, what is the address of the nail store that you visited with Total Nail Junkie? Oh, you're talking about Total Polish Junkie? Um, it's in, oh my god. Fort Lupton, Katie, I, tell me if I'm wrong. It's in Fort Lupton, Colorado, I think. And I don't know the exact address. I will try to link it down below, but I think the store is just called LaRoe. Link, link it down below. Did I just make a rhyme or did I say the same thing twice? I don't even know what I just said. I will try to link the address down below if I can find it, but I'm like 90% sure it's just called LaRoe and it's in Fort Lupton, Colorado. I'm like 90% sure. I don't know. It'll be linked down below. <laughs> and then the next one was, what do my pets think of my nail polish? Stinks or not stinks? <laughs> I think that's what she means. Um, my cats hate the smell of nail polish and they stay away from me when I'm painting my nails and they hate the smell of acetone. They do not like it. My dog doesn't seem to mind too much, but at the same time, if she like, like goes up and sniffs it, she doesn't like it. So I hope that answers your question. All right, next it's from It's Me Cat, and she asked, what's your favorite Christmas gift you received? That would probably, oh God, that's so tough because, that's a tough question because I, I got so much, I, I'm way spoiled. My family really, really, really spoiled me. Um, and I have favorites in different categories. Oh, that's tough. Maybe my favorite, my, the one that I'm maybe most excited to try is um, the Formula X Paint the Town set. Um, I don't have it in here. I'll put a picture of it right here, but I got that for my mother-in-law and I'm really excited to try that. So I don't know. I have so many like favorites. My sister got me a toolbox that's pink and like leopard print. It's so cute. It is so cute. <laughs> so I don't know. I had like, I love, love, love everything I got but 
I don't know. I have, I don't know if that answered your question. All right. And she also asked, do I have any Christmas traditions? Yes. Um, my family, for as long as I can remember, we've always opened presents on Christmas Eve. Christmas Eve has been our Christmas. And then Christmas Day, we open stockings and then we pretty much just like sleep the whole day. Like that's Christmas Day for us. Um, so Christmas Eve has always been my Christmas. And so growing up, I was always kind of like confused even now, sometimes I'm like, oh, it's only two days till Christmas. And like my husband and everybody else is like, what are you talking about? It's three days till Christmas. And I'm like, no, the 24th is Christmas. So <laughs> um, that's one. And then also me and my husband just started a recent one. Well, when we when we first got married, we started it. And when we put up cr our Christmas decorations and we decorate the tree and all that stuff, we um, get like usually like, is it Hickory Farms or Hillshire Farms? Hickory hickory farms <laughs> I can't remember but we'll get like those summer sausages and smoky sharp cheese is my favorite cheese ever and we'll get that and some crackers and some sweet hot mustard and then we always get like sparkling apple cider and we eat that and we decorate um and then we turn off all the lights and we just kind of like cuddle and listen to Christmas music and that's probably like one of my most favorite traditions that we do so those are a couple but my family has quite a few Christmas traditions Okay, sorry, my camera cut off, so I might be in a different place. Um, the third question that It's Me Cat asked was, uh, what's something you've always wanted? That is a really, really tough question. <laughs> um, I've always wanted a family of my own. Like, I have, like, when growing up, um, we didn't have much extended family. It was me, my brothers and sisters, and my mom. And, um, I mean, later on my stepdad and everything too. But it's like, we, it was just us. I just a little, our, my immediate family has always been like the most important thing to me ever. And not to say that I necessarily want like a big family of my own, but that little group of people is getting bigger, you know? Like my, my little brother just had a baby. My sister has two beautiful babies and... It's just, it's, I just, I, I like seeing our little group of really close tight knit people get bigger and I really want a family of my own. I want to be a mommy and I know Michael will be a really good daddy. So I want that for us. Um, that's probably the thing that I want the most. And that's definitely the thing I've always wanted. I know I always wanted my own family. So I guess that, but I mean, that's really hard because I don't know. I want a lot of things. I don't know. <laughs> I hope that answers your question. And she also said, um, sorry for the, twi the triple questions. P.S. I love your videos so much. You are my inspiration. You are so sweet, honey. Like, you are so sweet. Thank you so much. I just, you guys, you guys make my day when you say things like that. And Kat, if that's your name, if, I mean, it says it's me, Kat, so probably Kat. <laughs> you are such a sweetheart. Thank you so much. All right, Jessica the Polish Queen, um, another one of my homegirls here on YouTube. Love you, girl. Um, she says, how does hubby feel about your nail polish? Let's call it a hobby. <laughs> what's your favorite aspect of running, running a nail polish channel and what's your least favorite? Okay, how does Michael feel about my nail polish? He very, very, very much supports it. Like, a huge proportion of my nail polishes were bought by him. He knows a lot of the nail polish colors before when my collection was like 200 or so big he could name most of of my nail polishes like not just the brands like the names of the polishes um and he's always been super supportive and he always tries to um even if he doesn't like enjoy it as much as me I wouldn't say that he doesn't care but even if he doesn't like enjoy it he will sit there and listen to me talk about polish for a year if I have to he's just he is amazing. Thank you so much, sweetie. I love you. you. He is amazing. So I can't say enough good things about him. And without his support and him encouraging me, like, I don't know if I would ever have done YouTube. I don't know if I ever would have really invested my time or even money into nail polish at all if I just would have been like, Meh, you know, but he really was like, he really noticed that it was something that I really enjoyed and he pushed that in me and yeah, he's, <laughs> he's amazing. So it, without Michael, I don't know if I ever would have gotten into nail polish, especially the way that I have now. Like he, we met and were together well before I ever put on makeup for the first time, before I ever touched nail polish. Like he's been through it all and he's really, he's always been there really supportive. So thank you, Michael. I love you, honey. I keep doing this, but I love you guys. 
<laughs> I love you guys. And then um, she also asked, what's my favorite aspect of running a nail polish channel and what's my least favorite? My favorite is making these videos. I love, I love being able to share these things with you. I have so many creative ideas for this channel. Like I was saying before, like I just don't have time to do all the things that I want to do. Like, oh, I love making videos. My least favorite is definitely the editing of the videos because that takes a really, really long time. Like... <laughs> It's a long time and I'm not much of a technology person so it's not fun for me. It's just that's probably that's that's the thing that holds like if there's if there's a video that's late, it's because of editing. I can guarantee you that. <laughs> because I love sitting down and filming videos. I could film all day long. I could talk to the camera and share my life with you guys all day long and that's amazing. It's just the editing. So yeah. But regardless of that, I'm still, I'm, I love making videos for you guys, so I'm not gonna stop. I, hopefully, maybe I'll be able to find a way to make editing faster, easier, funner, I don't know. <laughs> but thank you, Jessica. Love you, girl. And then Lauren Petronio, I, I don't know if we, if she asked me a question on, I think she asked the same question on Instagram. I don't remember now, but would you ever buy a Christian Louboutin nail polish? I would never buy one because they're way too expensive, but if somebody ever gave it to me as a gift, then I would absolutely love to try one. <laughs> okay, Fishbone X Tutorials asks, do you think they will ever make bacon nail polish? I don't know what that means. Like bacon scented? Bacon colored? I hope you don't mean like bacon flavored nail polish. <laughs> I have no idea, to be honest, but I would probably try it, whatever it is. If there's some weird bacon nail polish trend, I would I would try it and let you guys know what I think. <laughs> okay, Haley Schatz said, Hey, I just realized how ridiculously long it has been since I commented on your videos, but my question is have you ever thought about doing more makeup type videos? Your your makeup is always on point. So yeah, I love you, XXPS. You're almost at 3,000. Haley, you, you, you're so sweet. I think it was in my last Q&A video where you just about made me cry from your sweetness, so thank you so much, honey. Um, I have considered doing makeup videos but like I said before I like never wear makeup except for if I'm just like putting it on for fun to film a video honestly um I almost didn't put makeup on today but I got that new green lipstick and I was like yeah let's let's do that <laughs> so I've thought about it but I don't I'm not very good at it and it's not some it's not like a passion of mine so I don't know maybe maybe I maybe I I would give it a shot maybe, but I don't know if I would make it a regular thing on my channel. I don't know. And she mentioned that I'm almost at 3000 and I am so I'm so excited and so grateful. You guys are so amazing. Oh, 3000 subscribers. Well, not quite. We're I think we're at 2860 something. <laughs> I think that's what we're at right now. But you guys are amazing. I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for you guys. You're you're amazing. You make my day. Thank you guys. Can I do stop? Can I just stop doing this heart thing? But for reals, like hearts, hearts. That's a very bad. That's a misshapen heart. But from my side, it looks cute. But it does probably doesn't look very good on that side. Anyways, the next question comes from Chanel Parrish. I think is her name. And she says, what does your significant other, or does your significant other support your polish addiction? And yes, he does. He buys me way too much. And if we're at the store together, he is such an enabler. I'll be like, oh, I don't need that one. And, and I'll like put it back and he'll like, he'll like, Hannah, you should get that one. Just get it. Just, just get it. He's such an enabler, <laughs> but he's such a sweetheart. So yes, he definitely does support it. All right, so next is from Heather Holmberg. She asked, um, when you go into a store, how do you know what is in your collection? Do you have a spreadsheet or a list you bring with you? And also, do you budget yourself on the amount you spend in a month on nail polish? Also, I think you are so adorable, thanks. Oh, thank you, Heather. Mwah. Um, you're so sweet. <laughs> and um, to answer your question, I don't, I have a spreadsheet, but I don't bring it with me when I go to a store, 
I, I've never had the problem of buying a nail polish twice. I've never done that. Um, I just kind of know what I have and I don't know how I know because I have like 900 or something like I have no idea how I remember but maybe I kind of sort of have a photographic ish memory and so if I see a polish I usually am like I see you know I see it in my collection you know I already know that I have that but I honestly don't really know how I just remember it's I don't somehow I remember <laughs> And um, for the second one, do I budget myself? Not, I don't say like this is the amount of nail polish I have in a month to spend, but me and my husband kind of take finances like week by week a lot um, because he gets paid weekly. And so, you know, the first week of the month, that's bills. The second week of the month is usually food. And we kind of just like take it week by week and just like figure out how much we have until the next paycheck comes in kind of. Um, if that makes any sense. So I, I would say that there's very few times in, so there's very few times so far where I've had to really like seriously cut back just because I am usually pretty good at about, about budgeting myself or like limiting myself because, especially because I do buy everything that I buy, I usually buy on clearance or at discount. And if I bought everything at full price, then I think we'd have a really big problem. But I don't know if that answers your question. I sort of do have a budget for it, but it fluctuates depending on what other financial things are going on at that point. And then also, like, for instance, um, I just bought the whole China Glaze Spring Collection, which will be here in a few weeks, and or not a few weeks, in like a week. And I'm going to review that for you guys. I'm really excited. Um... But that was like an abnormal nail polish expense for me because I don't normally buy like big like that, if that makes sense. So it really just depends. We kind of like fluctuate. Like if this month's big, the next month will be small, if that makes sense. I don't know if that, if, I don't know if that's answering your question, hopefully. <laughs> Sorry. All right, next is from Olivia, Sk oh God, I'm, I know I'm going to ruin this, Skiaraba? I don't know. I'm sorry, Olivia. <laughs> She asked, um, if you had to choose one nail polish color to describe you, what would it be? Ooh, that's, uh, that's really, really difficult. Because probably some of my favorite nail polishes are blue nail polishes, but I don't know if I was a nail polish, I'm not sure if I would be blue. I might be like a neon orange or something. Like, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> oh, that's so tough. I don't know if it really fits my personality or not. Maybe it totally does. I don't know. But like Zoya's Dream is just such a like an epic bold color. And maybe that's me. I'm kind of like I'm just like out there and very bold. I don't <laughs> I don't tone myself down very often. So maybe that and then like the holographic glitter in it is just so sparkly and rainbow and happy and yeah, so maybe that, maybe, I don't know. <laughs> these these questions are kind of hard. You guys are giving me good ones. All right, and then Miss Lady Winter asked, what is your favorite Christmas food? <sighs> I think it's tied between, um, like I, I think I told you guys before, uh, the Christmas tr tradition that me and my husband do of like the summer sausage and the smoked cheese. It's probably between the smoked cheddar cheese, which I love so much. I love that stuff so much. Probably between that and my mom's homemade chicken tamales because those are the two things that I for sure have every Christmas and if I don't have every Christmas then I'm really upset about like they're so good. Mmm so good. Danielle Kelly which if you guys don't know about her she's amazing too. I will link her channel down below too. I will link all of my friends down below <laughs> that I mentioned in this video. So Jessica, uh, Danielle, and Phoebe their channels will be linked down below. But anyways, Danielle asked, um, when slash how did you start your obsession with nail polish? What's your favorite restaurant? And how did you and Michael meet? Okay. <sighs> These are good questions. <laughs> I like answering questions like this. Okay, so for that first question, by the way, there's Miles hanging out behind me. Um, how did you start your obsession? Okay, so I'm pretty sure it started like three, four years ago. Yeah, four years ago. And I really kind of just wanted something 
to feel not to necessarily to feel girly but I wanted to to something to make me feel like pretty but I really really didn't want to put on makeup like I really didn't want to and I thought like nail polish is like really bright fun colors and they make me like colors are like happy I like colors um and I thought that that was way better that's kind of how it started I was just like well that's way better than makeup right like I was just anti-makeup apparently at that time and I bought some and I loved it and then I bought more and more and more and more and now I have like 900 and I love nail polish now and I love nail art and I kind of just happened upon it by accident but I just got really obsessed really quickly so <laughs> yeah that's I, I hope that answers your question I that's kind of how it started was yeah what's my favorite restaurant I don't go out to eat that often anymore, but if I do, there's two restaurants in my head that I just like, I really want to go to. First is Red Robin, I just really like their burgers. I don't know. <laughs> I wouldn't say that like burgers are like my favorite food or anything, but I just really like their burger. Their Whiskey River barbecue burger, oh, so good. I love that burger so much. And then Red Lobster. And funny enough, I don't really like seafood that much. But I really, I kind of do, but like, it's, yeah, not really. <laughs> Are you guys serious? I'm going to see if I can film this for you guys. This is hilarious. Do you see this? My dog is in her kennel. And <laughs> my kitten. <laughs> oh my god. Mila! Miles! What are you doing, Miles? Seriously. You silly boy. What are you doing? And just in case you guys were worried, she's only in her kennel because if she was out while I was filming, it would kind of be a disaster with everybody running around knocking over the tripod. So she's only in here when I'm filming and when it's, um, when she's sleeping. <laughs> you silly guy. Okay, sorry for the brief inter interruption. The, my cat's acting like a crazy person. Um, anyways, <laughs> she said, uh, what's my favorite? Oh yeah, what's my favorite restaurant? I was talking about Red Lobster. When I go to Red Lobster, I don't really love seafood that much, but I order their, what is it? Like the sampler, their combo or something rather. And I get Walt's favorite shrimp sometimes, which I kind of like, but I like the coconut shrimp way better or the potato crusted shrimp. Oh, so good. I like shrimp a lot. Um, and then I also get the seafood, the seafood stuffed sole, which is pretty good. And then my favorite is the shrimp linguine alfredo. Oh, that's my jam. Love that stuff. So those are probably two, my two favorite restaurants, but I'm open to suggestions for new restaurants to try because yeah. <laughs> okay. And then the last question that Daniel asked is how did me and Michael meet? Um, we met in high school. We were both total band geeks, like total band geeks. So we met in band class and jazz band and that's kind of where our bond happened. I actually, in middle school, we were in band class together. He was a year ahead of me and I had like, I kind of had a crush on him because he was like, <laughs> he was a really good trumpet player and that was like my reasoning for having a really good crush on him. It's like, oh my god, he's so dreamy because he can play the trumpet solo really good. <laughs> That was how that started, but he had no idea who I was. But in high school, then he finally noticed me, and like it was just like love. And we talked online for a while because I was like totally ready to be like, Yay, let's be together because you're so awesome. And he was like nervous and scared, kind of. And so we talked online for like an entire summer, and we we fell in love, and that's how it all started. And then that very next Let's see, he was in 11th grade, I was in 10th grade. That, um, right when we got to school in September, we, oh, I guess our relationship sort of started in August, but starting that September, we were like, you could not separate us. So, yeah, and we've been together now seven years, seven and a half years, and we've been married for four and a half years. So, yeah, I love you. <laughs> and I love you too, Danielle. You're amazing. I need to stop doing this. What is this? Like, I'm just, I'm so trendy or I don't know what that is. Okay, 
Um, Fifi Nail Art asked, um, your fave nail polish to wear for winter and fall. You guys are asking some tough questions, man. I've got like 900 polishes. I don't know. I love Zoya's Dream because it reminds me of the winter sky. How about that? Yeah. I don't know. All of them. I love all of them is my answer. <laughs> Ashlyn Thompson asked, what's your favorite type of polish and why? And what's something on your bucket list? Okay, let's just go question by question because there's a few questions on here. Okay, what's your favorite type of nail polish and why? That's tough. Holographic glitter might be my answer. I just love holographic glitter. <laughs> so, you know, China Glaze Fairy Dust, probably my favorite nail polish of all time. The most epic, amazing glitter nail polish of all time, in my opinion. Zoe's Dream is one of those really beautiful ones. Um, Color Club what is that blue haven blue heaven or whatever that one's an amazing holographic although that's a full holographic that's not like holographic glitter I don't know probably holographic glitter um and why because it's amazing I don't know I don't it's so happy and glittery and it shines every color so you don't have to pick a color it's just amazing and with fairy dust you can add that to any polish and it just makes it magical it's just magical that's my answer hopefully that works for you What's something on your bucket list? <sighs> That's a tough question for me. I don't know. I don't really have a bucket list per se, but right now I would like, like for my maybe obtainable goals kind of thing, I really want to go, I recently discovered that I want to go to um, Southern California which I never thought that I would really want to because all the cars and the pollution in LA just kind of like freaks me out. But <laughs> I recently figured out that I want to go there, but I also want to go to Canada. I want to go to Edmonton and there's like this giant mall in Edmonton that like you could go in the winter time or I mean really any time, but I was like, you could go in the winter time and you'd never have to leave the hotel because they have like restaurants. They have a theme park inside the mall. I mean, obviously they have shopping, but they've got like this really cool hotel inside the mall. That's like all the rooms are like themed different things. And I don't know. I want to go places, but I don't want to go super far away and I don't want to fly over water. That's kind of a fear of mine is like, I'm not afraid of dying in a plane crash, but I'm afraid, I'm afraid of drowning and I'm afraid of deep water. So I want to go somewhere that I don't have to fly over water for. <laughs> Hopefully that answers your question. I'm saying that a lot too. Am I being annoying today? I'm sorry guys. Okay, so uh, this video is probably officially the longest video in the entire world ever. I apologize. I have been filming for on and off for over an hour and a half. Yeah. Um, <laughs> it's a problem. We need to hurry up. Okay. Sorry, my camera and the lighting and everything is just going crazy and now I'm in a different spot and yeah. Anyways, um, Ashlyn Thompson, the last question that she asked was approximately how many, how many polishes do you have? I have somewhere between like 800 and 900 somewhere in there so a lot like way too many but you know there's no excuse <laughs> I'm not gonna say anything um all right and she also asked me would you ever do a nail polish swap with a fan um a fan that's a weird <laughs> that makes me feel weird to say that um um so the swap I don't know how to talk right now <laughs> so the times that I've done like a swap or things it's not like I'm swapping because of um like to build up each other's channels or anything like that um I swap or send gifts more likely gifts to friends that I meet um so I've sent gifts to people on YouTube and things like that just because we've met on YouTube and we've become friends and stuff like that so not like I would that's a really weird question to ask, especially because you put the word fan in there. <laughs> that just makes me feel, I don't know, a little weird. We're people. You're all, you, we're all people. Just, yeah. Sorry for this dotted line on my face. What if I got a tattoo like that? Would that look so chic or what? It's from my window. Um, but I do, I, it's like with friends kind of thing. So yeah, if we ever became friends or we started talking or something like that, well, yeah, of course I would. Um, that's just... Yeah. <laughs> okay, Fifi Nail Art also asked, um, who or how did you get into YouTube? Um, 
pretty much because I had this obsession, I had all these polishes, and I had all these things that I wanted to say, but I didn't have anybody to say them to. Like, I have a lot of people in my life that love me, but nobody is like, nobody cares about nail polish like I do. Like, it just doesn't happen. So, that's kind of part of it. I really wanted somebody to like talk to and share this stuff with. And then also I had seen other videos. Um, I, I'd been watching Miss Holly Berry's and Lindsay Does Nails. I'd been watching them for a while. Just Face 90. I could name them all. <laughs> um, I'd been watching them for forever and I was like, you know what? I can totally do this and I should do this. And um, it was a really weird time in my life. I had just left a really terrible job and I just wanted I just wanted to feel good about myself and I just wanted to be happy and I wanted to do something that make me happy that made me happy. I didn't want to just fill my time because my because the bad job was kind of like it was just like what I was supposed to do or you know what I mean like I wasn't happy and so I left that and I just wanted to be happy so I did what I thought would make me happy and it really has it's really amazing I love it so much. All right, and this is the very last comment on here. I'm sorry this video is so long. Um, it says, I've been watching you forever via phone. Um, I just recently got a computer so I can actually comment and subscribe. Oh, yay. Thank you, Ashley. Oh, yeah, did I mention her name? Ashley Neighbor. I hope I'm saying that right. Probably not because I'm horrible. Um, her question is, what is your favorite band slash musician? And do you, have you ever played an instrument? Oh wow, I'm really washed out for a second there. Sorry about that. Um, <laughs> okay, so my favorite band slash musician, that's really tough. I used to be like crazy into music. Like not saying that I'm not into music now, but I'm more into nail polish and that's what I put the majority of my time focusing on. Um, maybe just because I grew up with him and it feels like I feel very sentimental about this musician. I would have to say Van Morrison and which is kind of weird because it's like that's not necessarily the type of music that like his genre isn't necessarily what I would consider my type of music although it's not bad it's really he's really good but it's not necessarily like my favorite type to listen to but his music in particular the way he sings a song the songs that he sings they're not only from my childhood and they're nostalgic but I played his songs at my wedding my first dance was um someone like you by Van Morrison my the first dance at my wedding so yeah I probably Van Morrison I just yeah and I went to his concert the right before I got married actually. That was right before, right? Or was it right after? I can't remember if it was right before or right after I got married. But I went to the concert with my mom and my aunt and it was just, oh, it was so amazing. So, Van Morrison, probably. Are you seriously playing with nail polish again? Get down, come on, get down. You are such a naughty boy. Are you gonna say hi to the peoples? Say hi to the peoples? Shut hard in the peoples. Look at that little patch of white he has on his chin. Can you guys see, or on his neck? Miles, look up here. Do you see that? Oh, he's so cute. I love you, buddy. Okay, and the last question she asks is, do you or have you ever played an instrument? I have played a lot of instruments in my life. <laughs> okay, so I started out in on the clarinet and I played that for like five years, I think. And then I switched to alto saxophone then I played baritone saxophone, then I played tenor saxophone and soprano saxophone, then I played flute, and I, I kind of mixed them all in. I was playing them all at the same time. I played steel drums for a while. I think that that's it. I think. I haven't played an instrument in a really long time. I quit. Um, it was really, really fun in high school. I think I mentioned before, that's how me and my husband met. Like, I was a total band geek. Band and music was my entire life. I wanted to be a music teacher for the longest time in the world. Um, and I played, a, I played a full year in college before I realized this isn't quite what I want to do. So, I quit in college, although I wish that I played more. I still have a flute that I play kind of regularly just, like, for fun because it's kind of easy to pull out and like dink around on. I love playing the Mario theme song on that thing. <laughs> and then um, I still have um, two alto saxophones. One of them with, is my sister, Lily. Um, she's playing that in high school right now with the same band teacher and the same saxophone. It's just weird to me. 
But anyways, that was probably more details than you guys cared to know. But yes, I have played an instrument. <laughs> okay, so that finally, finally wraps up all the questions that you guys um, gave me. Next time, I might just pick some questions and not do all of them, although that's really hard. I don't know how to pick some and not answer all of them, so I don't know. But thank you guys so, so, so much for um, asking those questions. It was really, really fun. Um, if you stuck around to the end of this video, you are a trooper. I love you so much. You guys are amazing. <laughs> I'm sorry this is so long, but, you know, life happens. It just does. So, yeah. I think that's all I have to say. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe if you haven't already. I love you guys so, so much, and I will see you very, very, very soon. Bye! There was a hair on my lip. There still is a hair on my lip. Ah, I got it. Guys, get out of the bag of garbage! Go. Oh my god. Go, Mila. This should not be taking this long. Somewhere between 800 and 900. I'm at... Oh my god. And... Are you guys serious? And when I go to Red Lobster, like I went there, okay, oh calm down, Hannah. And yeah, she did, and <laughs> wow, can I just get creepier or what? Two questions. First off, when do you, or sorry, <laughs> I cannot read today because I wanted something to make. Oh my god, are you serious, Miles? Do you- he's crawling on my- Oh my god, you are such a naughty boy. Get down. Get- oh my god. You just knocked over half of my mini nail polishes. You are being a naughty boy today. Hmm. On YouTube sometime. No, forget that. To relax for downtown. Da downtown. <laughs> I know I'm going to ruin this username. I'm sorry. Um, quiet. Oh, I figured it out. What's your second most favorite things? Are from quiet. Oh, god damn it.